Hi, I'm Tony Fowle. Uh, this is uh, just one video in a series of tutorial videos showing uh, how to use my uh, motorcycle setup software, uh, which you can see more details of on my website at uh, www.tonyfowle.com. We can access the uh, calculator for springs uh, by clicking on this button. Uh, this gives us a small pop-up screen. Uh, now from here we can calculate uh, the spring rate of a spring if we know its dimensions and material that it's made of. Uh, the material that we've got available in this program will be spring steel or titanium. Uh, the units which we do the calculations in are uh, either in metric units which is millimeters and newtons or in imperial units inches and pounds force. Uh, we've got four empty data entry boxes here. The software will c uh, calculate the missing one in that set of four if you fill in the other three. The fifth uh, box here has got a default value of 1.75. Uh, this is because the uh, in any spring which has uh, flattened and ground ends tends to have a different number of coils. It acts as if it's got a different number of coils compared to those which we count. Now an average spring industry figure is to compensate for uh, this by uh, a value of 1.75 turns. This works fairly well for uh, long uh, springs with lots of coils in like front fork springs. Uh, it's not so good on the uh, uh, springs used for uh, rear monoshock units which only have a small number of turns so uh, provision is uh, put here to be able to adjust that accordingly um, but we can use this calculator to calculate the spring rate if we put in the dimensions uh, of the uh, coil or alternatively uh, we can put in uh, the spring rate that we need and maybe the uh, the wire and coil measurements and calculate the number of turns to give that spring rate. Anyway, let's just uh, quickly do one calculation. We'll put in 75 millimeters for the whole, uh, for the overall spring diameter. Uh, that's not counting any paint. If a spring's painted, uh, you, you need to make sure that uh, you're, you're measuring it without the thickness of the paint. In particular, that'll have an effect when we enter in the wire diameter. In this case, let's put in 8 millimeters and let's put in uh, a number of turns of 6 and press on the calculate button and that will give us a spring rate of nearly 32 newtons per millimeter. Uh, say for instance we um, want to calculate the number of turns rather than the spring rate if we leave that blank let's say we want to calculate a spring rate of with 40 then we can press on the calculate button and it tells us we want 5.1 turns for that um, particular spring rate. Well that's it for now. Uh, to make sure that you don't miss any uh, more of these tutorial videos on the motorcycle setup software I suggest that you tick the like button on this one and subscribe to my YouTube channel Motor Chassis. Uh, for more information about the suspension setup software and uh, my book on chassis design, I suggest you visit my website at uh, www.tonyfowl.com. Thanks for watching.